The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Well, we start out by going across the pond to take a look at the FTSE and the DAX. And as you can see from the charts that I posted here, they really don't care what's going on here in the United States, and they shouldn't because they have their own thing, and that's what they should be doing. Now, the next chart I want to show you, I'm going to answer the question from our good friend Basil Chapman, and that is about the gold market. So give me one second here, and I'll bring this up. Uh, we had a major sell signal in that gold uh, on Monday at uh, 1852, and we got filled at 1852, and I'm almost embarrassed to say, but I have to do it. The market broke uh, $14. I raised the stop to only risk $2. We got stopped out on the exact tick, 1854, and now the market has broken down below the 78 uh, percent level at 1793 that's was a low so far today below 1793 folks sets up a potential for this thing to go all the way down to 1680 and uh, maybe even 17 well for 1721st and then possibly 1680 but that's what's happened to the gold market uh being down this much off the high we're down well believe it or not folks we're down 60 dollars if you can believe it this week in gold and there was a big tip off on that we talked about that gdx uh, several times in the newsletter and also on the show on monday that it was looking so badly and then also silver with the head and shoulders top that we've talked about uh many times over and over again also by the way i will be doing a uh hold on one second here someone's asked a question about that and i want to get this up here to let you see it here was the here was the head and shoulders that we were looking at uh in the uh, silver at that time what's so interesting about this if you look at the right shoulder there uh at uh, 2475 the high folks was 2475 i mean <laughs> you, you can't get any closer than that which was a 1.618 expansion of the bc leg but the time between the left shoulder and the right shoulder and the head is absolutely perfect to the day uh, so that's that that is what was described by uh, uh, dr Lowe in his book the uh, non-random walk down wall street that's how they determined what these patterns were and described them mathematically in time and in price for them to be uh, live patterns and that's what we have someone's asked a question today about the possible war between russia and or, and the ukraine and all this other stuff folks i i don't know i mean crude oil had a big run up you know sold off a dollar barrel no big deal anymore but the thing that i'd like to mention to you uh it, it also relates to another question did i ever get any inside information information that worked and the answer was no the only one that ever came close was in january of 1991 i was getting gas in my car about five o'clock in the morning there in uh, pismo beach on my way to the office and uh there was a car just like mine a little sports car and uh the uh it wasn't a Ferrari, anything like that. It was a 300Z uh, Nissan, uh, and it was a nice little car. Anyway, the guy next to me had the same color car and, and exactly the same car, and I looked over at it, and I looked in the back, and, it, and there was a picture or a, a, a rack there of a you know, a um, army bag, uh, actually Air Force, and then there was his uniform there, and it was a layout of the, he was a full bird colonel. And I asked him, I said, hey, it looks like you're hitting out big whack, bivouac. And he said, yeah. And I said, well, you got any good inside information for me? And he said, yeah. He said, don't be short crude oil. That was five days before the January new moon of that year, 1991, when we hit uh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, so we had Iraq and Baghdad, but that was the only time that I ever got that. And of course, we and that was not any information at all because you know the market had already factored in what that war or possible war was going to be. So that that's really what I'm trying to mention. But the, don't trade what you see, not what you think or what you hear. You know, look at the chart. If it's got a good bar, you can tell whether it's going to be uh, uh, up or down. You know, you know what 
what you're risking. That's really what you're happening. We had something very, very happen, very, very important happened yesterday that we had posted on. I'm going to start out here by by using the uh, Nasdaq as the example because uh, it was just an absolute perfect. We had perfect patterns on absolutely every one of these, but we're going to start out with the Nasdaq yesterday, and I want to continue on with it because we've got some wild volatility, folks. I mean, we're seeing today we have seen the S and P rally 100, you know, drop 40. I mean, it's just incredible volatility, which you like to see. Now, look at this. The high we made yesterday, you can see the perfect ABCD pattern exactly at the 382 off of the high of uh, January the 14th. Now, if we should close, and we, we, we came down yesterday, and I want to show you what happened last night because it's extremely important. This will prove to you without a shadow of a doubt that there's people out there that knows what the algorithms are, and they really pay attention to them. OK, so I'm going to show you this first. You'll see where we did. You see how we came down really sharply. We, we reversed. We dropped 700, actually 800 points in the NASDAQ in the last hour of trading. Last night, we went down just a tiny bit lower. But what's important about that is last night, 2 o'clock in the morning, I happened to know because I had my, my limit minder set on my computer and it woke me up. And uh, I said, well, better go down and take a look at it. And let me show you where we were. It's going to be really interesting because uh, you're going to remember this. If you remember yesterday, I told you about the standard deviations that we follow with the Floor Traders Handbook. There it was yesterday, 42.16 in the S&P, right? So the market goes all the way back up, okay? So that changes that changes the standard deviation on the next swing down because it's based on what probabilities are of where the thing is supposed to be going. Now, look what happened last night. Here it is. You get up here and take a look at it. And, and the reason why I'm showing you this is because somebody knows this because, you know, they, these algorithmic traders are in there. And then you can see we went all the way down there to uh, this one, I believe, is the – this is the NASDAQ. Yep, the NASDAQ went right down. We took out the lows uh, of the previous day. And look at this. We stopped here. We went – today's high so far, just a tad above the 61% retracement. If we close above this mean tonight, which is at 14,450, not very far away, uh, this market could still go higher. And and that that's, that's what I'm saying. Because you remember, I do a – I'm a short-term trader looking at longer-term possibilities because I don't want to buy something and risk uh, six or seven thousand dollars like some people do. I'd rather go in there two or three times and try to get it without risking very much. And a perfect example was the gold. Am I upset about it? Yeah, for other people, not for myself. You know, it's that's not a big deal. But uh, you know, that's that's what I'm trying to uh, you know enforce this. By the way, we have a very special guest today, none other than Norman, who calls it to the minute. Winsky will be talking to us. He had a great show the last time he was on, and he's going to be on again today here at 9:30 to talk to us about some of these other things. We've got a few other things to talk about. Primarily, I want to go through some of these things that uh, are are pretty important as far as what happened yesterday because it, it hit so. So many numbers uh, on these things. It's just amazing. People that follow this, and, and I appreciate the emails you send me about the 382 patterns. Uh, I got two last night about this one in the gold market. You'll see, there you go. Look, you see there was the 382 in the gold. Now, if you do the ABCD on that, boys and girls, guess what you're going to come up with? None other than 1792. We'll be right back with Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of the Dow E-mini yesterday uh, showing you the same pattern, the same ABCD pattern. A little boring, but it's a glory to me is all I can tell you. Anyway, we hit that. We've had so many wild swings today in the Dow, yesterday and today in the Dow Jones E-mini, S&P, NASDAQ, I mean, especially NASDAQ. NASDAQ moved yesterday, I believe, a total of 14, 20, I think it moved uh, over for almost 40 thousand dollars up and down in the Nasdaq yesterday. The key today, folks, is what happens on the close. Because if we close below one standard deviation, which is, I'll give it to you in the S&P terms, would be 4230. For excuse me, 4212. If we close below 4212, I wouldn't be long uh, stocks. Uh, at, at, on, on any situation coming into Monday. Now, I don't know if there's anything news going out there. All I know is at that point, the option traders and the log, log algorithmic boys are going to be wrong, and they'll know they're wrong. And you'll see that thing, if it closes really badly today, especially you know with this wild swing, hell, it could, cl it could close up 700 points in the Dow. Easily, easily could do that. But the close today is what's really, really super important because uh, we've been down here, we've tested these, we've tried it now, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, we're, and then, of course, we have tomorrow is being Friday. Uh, see, what you do, folks, is you take Thursday, and then you add one day and then you come up with Friday. I just calculated that wrong. By the way, I'll be doing Tommy O'Brien's uh, show today at uh, 2 – let's see what time is it – at 1 o'clock Eastern time. And uh, so I'm going to be doing a few things. I'm going to be updating a lot of these charts to see where we are as we come into Friday because this is going to be a really key day because we've come down here. Uh, we had the three-day rally. It tried it. It bounced back. It's you know doing everything it can you know, to stay above it. But if it can't and it fails – Look out below. That's the main thing that we have to remember. And the reason why I say that, there's a there's a strong, not a strong possibility, but, you know, the Elliott Way boys have been calling for this uh, monumental, you know, end of the world type, uh, you know, <laughs> top where the NASDAQ went right up to the uh, number, excuse me, the Dow Jones hit the exact price at 36488 And, uh the actual high was uh, 46,488, and they were predicting 36,488.5. So they missed it by uh, 12 ticks. 
which is pretty good. Not, not pretty good. That is 100% right. Now, if that's correct, this market's going to break. That's the bottom thing. Now, if the uh, that would be uh, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Sorry, Bill. Bill. Thank you very much. I, I, I keep forgetting that the sun comes up in the east and it goes down in the west and there's a two-hour difference. Yes, it's 2 o'clock. Try it again, Larry. 3 o'clock Eastern time uh, that I'll be doing 3 to 4 for uh, Tommy O'Brien uh, today. So we'll remind ourselves of that. Now, I covered the other – another one I want to mention, too. And those of you that uh, are across the pond over here, you'll notice here that we have been uh, very, very bearish, the British pound, for quite some time. Here was an example of one of the charts that one of our friends across the pond uh, – we've been short this thing since, well, way back in, at, at 136 and change. But you notice the 382 rally. Uh, that we had today, and we were, we broke way below the 134 level already today. So the, these markets are really rocking and rolling, which we like to see. But uh, I appreciate the emails when people listen and, and get, it can work with the, some of the things I talk about. And, and I understand a lot of people don't do anything, and that's okay too. Do your own thing, you know, whatever makes you happy. That's the whole thing of what what I do. I I do really simple things, and it's boring to most people, but other people, you know not so boring and that's the the main thing to uh, remind ourselves of that but let's get on to the charts that we need to cover and here we are folks we got to look at the big daddy rabbit here and that is none other than the u.s dollar and where is the u.s dollar at you got it here somewhere because i spent a lot of time getting that little puppy ready and where is it it hits from me it hit from me and it's not hiding from me anymore we have and i put this in this was early this morning folks and we have gone up and we have rocked and rolled way above this now we have broken out of a double top up here from november and that's a really big thing and i because the dollar index or not the dollar index but the euro concentrates 53 percent of the dollar index and the euro is the largest single traded thing in the whole world I mean, nothing even comes close. It's a great if you want to trade and not and be bored and just not have you know not have any experience or worrying about anything. Uh, trade the euro. My gosh, it's just uh, it's boring, but boy, it makes money. And uh, that's when, when we when I did the uh, floor traders handbook with John Jameson, the uh, that's what we focused on because that was the number one thing. You, it, it you know it's just the perfect, you know it hits these numbers like magic. You know, so anyway, let's take a look here at this euro here on a long-term weekly basis because you can see where we are now, folks. And this was uh, this was done a little bit earlier, and it's gone lower actually. We have uh, we're almost ready to take out the uh, point to C down here at this uh, 117 level. One, if we take the 117, at one, well, actually 116. When we take 116 out, folks, you're looking at a potential. It, it has to do that. You know, but maybe it's going to be a double bottom because, you know, we've seen double bottoms and double tops before. But should we take that out? You're looking at a euro. It's going to be down here at about 106. OK, that means the U.S. dollar is going to be it's going to be probably flirting, flirting with 100 easy. So that and we've been to 161. So 100 doesn't mean a whole lot. So this just pay attention to this because this thing could really really get, you know, really, really pretty nasty. And that's the main thing. This level here at 106 was where it was way back in uh, 2000 when my little grandson was born on August the 14th on a, on a beautiful full moon. The Chase Moon Doyle was born that day, my daughter being interested in astrology, and she named him after the moon. And boy, what a what a wonderful kid this guy is. Boy, he had a, he had a scholarship at Stanford, uh, went for a year, got straight A's and said, it's not for me. I don't like college. And so he went to the Big Apple. He said, I can make it here. And that little son of a gun, he's made it. I just can't believe it. He's uh, he's a actually he's a comedian and uh, he's really good at it. And he is doing animated cartoons now for uh, the children's station there in uh, New York. And plus, he does some comedy routines and the little nightclub sometimes. But he's doing really well and he's happier than a pig in poop. And that's what's really uh Really very important. We're going to have Norm Winsky coming up here at the break. He's got some really great stuff, as always, and we'll be watching it. Uh, people have asked me, why am I not watching the uh, the natural gas? I still am, but folks, I'm focused very much on the, on the British pound, the euro, and the uh, you know crude oil and gold. 
and and of course the stock indices. Those are those are the ones that I'm watching. You know, so that's it. No, I don't I don't feed him any jokes. He feeds jokes to me. Uh, I, I went to when he graduated from high school, in a big high school there in San Luis Obispo, and he was one of the five acts that they had that night. He had a 15 minute skit, and I he got a standing ovation. I I don't think I've ever been that proud. Well, I, I've been that proud with my daughters, of course, but that was really, uh, really spectacular uh, for me to see him do that. Well, he's just so self-confident. I mean, it's just, uh, it's just a real, uh, real joy. He, he, you know, he can get up and speak in front of anybody and make a fool of himself. And look, here I am doing that each day. <laughs> hey, we'll be right back with "Take It to the Minute" Winsky. We'll be right back, folks. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, with any luck at all, I think we have Norm Winsky on the line from beautiful Naples, Florida. Are you there, Norman? Yes, sir, Larry. Thanks for having me on your show. It is our pleasure having you on. We enjoyed having you on the last time. You had some great info, so why don't you light up the board and tell us what you're looking at today, my friend. All right. I always like to review what I forecasted. I think it's the responsible thing to do. And I was last on your show on the 13th, Thursday, the 13th of January. And uh, so I'm going to review these points that I, I gave out back then. 
for what was coming up. Uh, AC is after the close, so if you see that there, that means the you know the the are uh, the normal day session. Uh, the, which I don't think too much of trading at night. Uh, markets are pretty thin, you know. Regular day session is only one fourth of a day. The planets don't clock out at four or five o'clock. They're twenty four seven. So seventy five seventy five percent just based on random distribution, seventy five percent chance that uh, some planetary event will be happening overnight. That's AC or after the close. So, we had uh, that night, the 13th, we had Neptune to the U.S. natal chart, U.S. Mars. What is that? And then we take a snapshot of where the planets were when the good old USA was founded on July the 4th, 1776. And so anytime we have that to the U.S. chart, uh, we look at U.S. stocks, T-bonds, and U.S. dollar. We also had Mercury in the sign of Aquarius turn retrograde. Uh, Mercury is uh, the main thing. Mercury is. Uh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, uh, the stocks respond to all these events. The, all the, Most of the other markets are narrow filters that only respond to certain things. Mercury is the greens, okay? So corn. And then because it was in the sign of Aquarius, we also got to throw in copper in the mix, soybeans, and wheat. Then we had another point to the U.S. chart on the night of, those were both the night of the 13th. Then over the 14th weekend, we had again Saturn to the U.S. chart, and U.S. stocks, T-bonds, dollar. Then we had Mercury uh, perihelion. That's when the Mercury, you know, 88-day cycle around the sun, and the planets are elliptical. That's egg-shaped, not circular in their motion. And so there's a point where the planets are closest to the sun and a point where the planets are farthest from the sun. Closest is perihelion, farthest is aphelion, and Mercury with perihelion there. And we were looking for corn, gold, soybeans, wheat. And then we had a full moon over that weekend. And we also had Uranus turning direct. That's one of my top things when the planets turn direct or retrograde, it's when they, they're that moment there, they, relative to the Earth, it looks like the planets stop their motion. Uh, we know they don't physically do that, but it's a relative, it's an Einsteinian relative thing to the Earth, and it looks like they stop their motion and for a moment and then reverse direction, and when the planets change trend, the markets often change trend. So we'll be looking at those charts now. Uh, here's the rules of the game. If the market were, were about 75% of the time, if the market's going down into a indicated change of trend window, it will probably reverse. And if it's been going up, it'll uh, same thing. We're looking for the extremes. If the market's going sideways, we do nothing. Okay, so we want to see the market either going down or going up. Here's corn. If corn was going down into their first point here, we had three points for the green, each of the greens. And right there, you'd be buying right near the lows. And then it rallied up and then it pulled back on our next window. And where we had two points over that weekend, 14th weekend. And then you had a, a chance to buy again near the lows. And then it was up, up, and away. Here's soybeans. Pretty much uh, kind of the same thing. A little more skewed toward the latter date. But we had a uh, pull back here into the 13th. And then uh, a week, uh, overnight into the weekend, uh, the, the rules are... We usually target the opening of the next day when we have the AC after the close, so that's why we have the green arrow pointing at the arrow at the opening. And there we have the opening here on the 18th, Monday the 17th was a holiday, you might remember. And then we went up, 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 so that was good. And here's the wheat. Wheat was really uh, great. You're bland, bright. <laughs> try, sorry again. Try again. We're buying near the lows there, and then it was a nice little ride up. So here's your cattle. Rallied, uh, we had a, a point over that 14th weekend. Uh, Uranus in Taurus the bull just might have something to do with cattle. And this wasn't that tr terrific. It was a, kind of a marginal trade. It rallied up into there. And then the next day, you did make your high, and then you had a significant uh, a, a drop after that. <clears throat> then we had cotton. Yes, every now and then I have a miss. Up, 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 and uh, and then more up, up, and that was too much up, and so we marked that as a miss. Red, green is good, red is bad, yellow is sideways, or a pass. 
There we go. Copper coming sharply down. You will be buying there right on that uh, short-term low, and then not a nice rally. And then silver pulled back into the moon there, and then it had a nice rally. That gold was going kind of sideways, so you couldn't tell which way to go. And so all our gold points there were passes. Here's the S&P. We did uh, it pulled back into the uh, after the close uh, opening of the 14th, after the close of the 13th. For it's kind of hard to see there because we've had such large movement in the uh, S&P that it tends to, to uh, you know squeeze the uh, scaling. So those bars are don't look very big, but that's like 50 handles there you could have made on that just that one day. And then uh, because it was kind of sideways into the next day's <clears throat> opening, uh, it was confusing whether it was a high or a low. So pass, pass, pass on that one. But here's one that's clear. In contrast, here are the T-bonds rallied right up to right to our point there and then down for a, a furlough on the next two points. For so You had a nice high there. You had a nice low there. And then it eventually rallied again. Here's a dollar. You were just talking about the dollar, Larry, and down, down, down into the our point, U.S. point there on the opening of the 14th and up, and then uh, the, but it uh, didn't stop going up uh, uh, on the moon or the our other point there over the weekend of the 14th. So that's a couple of uh, misses there. Here's Aussie dollar coming down, down, down into the moon. That was a uh, by the way, full moon. Just to remind you. And then we had a nice bounce up, and British pound did not behave nicely, so that's a miss uh, into the moon. By the way, just missed the uh, top there, uh, you know, by a couple of days, but, you know, it's like uh, horseshoes, you know, it's only, I don't only count the horseshoes. All right, we're pulling that back now into the Canadian dollar, and that's a nice short-term low there on the Canadian dollar. And you're just talking about the euro, and you're one day off that high there. That high is higher than that high, so that was that, that high there is the high of the month. And uh, the next day, where you could sell it against that high, and you only had to risk that amount for, on that trade. And that might be something that sounds like Larry might like. And here's yen. Yen again, you could sell against that top there, and you had a nice one day dip. And so if you add up the green arrows and the red arrows. Okay, I'll wait. Let's take a break and we get back. We'll finish adding up those arrows and we'll be right back with Norm Winsky, Astro Trends. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hey, we're back, folks. We're chatting with... Uh Norm Winsky of Astro Trends. You want to continue, my friend? How did the arrows turn out? Okay, thanks for asking. And we have, if you add up the green arrows and the red arrows, we had 21 winners, four misses out of 25 for 84%. Okay, let's move on. Now, what's coming up? That's a great question. All right, uh, the weekend of the 28th coming up, Venus is now retrograde, but it's going to stop. It's called a station point and turn to go forward, which is called direct. And, we, and our Venus markets are cattle, because it's in Capricorn, it'll be coffee, copper, cotton, sugar, and wheat. So it's the market. And by the way, if you uh, would like to get a copy of these notes, just send me an email, and I'll send you a copy of these notes, and then you can go listen to the video again and follow along with your own personal notes. All right, so we have uh, Jupiter to the U.S. chart. Over the weekend of the of uh, the uh, 28th, that's how we round up the usual suspects: uh, U.S. stocks, T bonds, U.S. dollar, and then we have a new moon coming up the night of the 31st, early uh, February 1, in a, a sign of Aquarius. That's your you round up your usual, usual suspects for that: financials, grains, precious metals, and because it's in the sign of Aquarius, we want to uh, have we we're throwing in copper as a special. And then we have Mercury in Capricorn. Mercury is currently retrograde in Capricorn. And that's going to turn to direct the night of the third. And that's because it's in Capricorn. We got coffee. And then, of course, the Mercury is the grains, corn, soybeans, wheat. And then we have uh, the afternoon of the fourth. We have Saturn to the U.S. chart for U.S. stocks, T bonds, and dollar. And so that's what's coming up here in about the next week or so. <clears throat> I've been doing this a little while now. I started uh, in, trading in college you, on, on astrology. The first book I bought was the one well, of the first books I bought on financial astrology. I stumbled on the uh, Donald Bradley stock market prediction. I think that was 1971 or so. And then I made enough money that let, led to my buying a membership on the Chicago Board Options Exchange in 1975. And when I finished school there at good old Indiana State in Terre Haute, I would move, moved to Chicago, and I was a Chicago floor trader. I was on the CBOE and the Board of Trade for about uh, off, uh, for about 12 years. So, all well, right, I, and I know I've been studying all this stuff. So, you know, if you want to learn more, give me a call. Here, you can. Here's my contact info. Here, I'll give you I'll get you a free class. Uh, we got letters. I got two letters. I got a swing trading letter, day trading letter. You, I'll teach you, uh, you can sign up for astrology course. Here we go. Here's my contact in beautiful Naples, Florida, 239-594-3939. You can email me in Winske and Bark with a Q. That's a Q, mail.com, or in Winske. You can Skype in Winske underscore one. Do you have any questions from the uh, uh, yes, tiger down yes. there, Larry? Yes, we we do, Norm. Uh, two questions. The first question is, what did you pay for your seat in 1971 at the CBOE? 
That was 1975. 75, yeah, sorry. And the price was $25,000. Aha. And I think... think Later on, when the exchanges demutualized, you know, they they moved away from that model. Uh And the the members uh, at the SIBO uh, were able to cash out for... If I held on, <laughs> I mean, Larry, let's face it. If somebody told you you were on the CME there, and somebody yeah. told you they're going to obsolete your job, but you're going to get a big payoff if you hold your membership to the end, yeah, you'd say you're crazy. You know, think of yeah. the think of the blacksmith of the late 19th century. You know, when cars came in, they, yeah. they most of them went out of business. You know, yeah. if somebody told them, "Oh, we're going to give you millions of dollars if you stay yeah. in the business." You'd say you're crazy, you know? Yeah. Well, that's what happened with these exchanges. So the CBO yeah. members, I didn't hold the land. I got out after 12 years. I I got out for over $200,000, eight times my money, you know? I thought yeah. that was pretty good. And I was getting to be an old man there in my mid-30s. And so I thought it was time to move on, you know? So yeah. anyway, wow. the CBO membership, you held it to the end, was good for about $3 million, you know? So, well, know, the IMM the, seat I that I had for 100. Story. Yeah. What's that? The IMM seat that I had for uh, 110 uh, when they merged was a 4.2 large. <laughs> yeah, there you okay. go. Okay, second second question uh, that we have. Well, I was going to uh, tell you a great story. We have time for a story or not? Sure, we sure do. Go right ahead. All right. So when I I, I was uh, you know making I, I we won't go into the story about my making money today, but anyway, I I bought a. I bought, uh, did, did some trading in well, my college days there and made quite a bit of money. And I had a small inheritance, added that to that. And so then I decided that I would, oh, and then I started taking finance classes because I, I made friends with the local stockbrokers and one of them kind of became a friend and mentor and said, son, you might want to think about becoming a stockbroker when you get out of school. And I didn't have any, I didn't know what I was going to do. So I, I thought that's the stock market thing. It's kind of fun, you know. So I started taking, I was an econ major, and I started taking finance classes. And so when I got to my senior year, I had the same prof for two finance classes. And one was a financial intermediation, one was investments. I'd been trading options by that point. And I told, and the prof says, if you want to get a good grade in my class, you're going to have to write a senior paper. So I went to him and said, look, prof, I got you for two classes, six hours credit. How about if I write a two-fold paper on the CBOE? You know, investment options as investment and the exchange as a financial intermediary, intermediary. And he said, OK. And so I drove the 200 miles to Chicago, got the tour of the exchange. And when we got done uh, done with the tour, I asked my tour guide, I said, how does one become a member here? Because I was writing a paper plus in the back of my head. I thought, oh, this might be a career opportunity. And she, I said, how do you become a member? She said, you should go talk to the chairman of the membership committee. I said, who's that? That's Eddie O'Connor. I bet you, you might have heard of Eddie. Oh, right? my gosh. Absolutely. I know who he is. Yeah. And, I, you know, this, I was just yeah. starting on this journey, and I didn't know who Eddie O'Connor was. We, yeah. had, we You and I know, Larry, that he's the father of the whole enchilada. He is. He jumped up, <laughs> up that exchange, you know? Yeah. He's a good friend of Leo Maloma, was, too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> there you go. At the, yeah, Leo was the, the main man at the CME, and uh, Eddie was one of the top guys there at the Board of Trade. He was, at the yeah. time, vice chairman in the late 60s. They were getting yeah. concerned that the commodity yeah. business had kind of dried yeah. up while the stock market was hot, hot, hot. And they said, what can we do? And Eddie came up with the idea, let's let's uh, let's have an uh, options exchange, and that led to. So I go and visit, meet Eddie, meet with Eddie, and Eddie's very nice to me. He says, it tells me how you come, become a member, and then he says, son, do you have any money? I said, well, I have a small inheritance. He said, well, you might want to put your name. I have from the exchange on this. On a, on a, we have a, a list over here. Put your name down there, and you could. And the, currently, the memberships are trading at forty-five thousand. The exchange are going to sell one hundred and fifty. For uh, 150 uh, memberships for 25,000, I heard a kaching in my head for a 20,000 dollar profit. <laughs> I said, "Where do I sign?" You know, so yeah. I could put my name on the list there. I was number 160 Fibonacci, right, out of 150. And then they called me a few weeks later and said, uh, "You know, are you still interested? We've had some cancellations. Are you still interested?" I said, uh, "Yes." Uh, where do I send my check on that and put me on the path to Chicago? 
Wow. Hey, stay with us. We got to pay a few bills. Uh, we want to come back and uh, have the folks uh, how they can reach you. And I want to. Add, there's one other question outstanding. Okay. Okay. We'll be right back with Norm Winsky, folks. Astro Trends, Naples, Florida. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call Newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have a question, Norm, about uh, J.P. Morgan. Someone asked a question about uh, J.P. Morgan and astrology, and nobody's better to answer that than you. You want to tell them? Because I believe you bought Evangeline Adams' uh, library, did you? Some of these after I had a nice run there on the Cebo floor there. I, I uh, stumbled on that. It's, uh, we don't have time to tell that whole story now. But uh, Mr. J.P. Morgan... Uh, 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 hired her as an astrologer. He he attributed her by helping him make hundreds of millions of dollars back when that kind of money would buy something, you know? Yeah. So, hey, here's a real quick note, if you don't mind jumping in here with something. Uh, back to we? it's back to Terre Haute there. Uh, I, I uh, you were talking with Tim Boss the other day about uh, 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 Reagan's astrologer. I found uh, my first book, uh, astrology book, I ever bought. Was uh, oh my God! Uh, I'm having a senior moment there now. Donald uh, Astrology Donald for Bradley, Adults yeah. by Joan Quigley was oh, Reagan's okay. astrologer. That was the first book I bought. And that say you you lived down by Honey Creek Square there, I think, Larry, right? Sure did, yeah. And sure you did. probably went in the Crock and Bertano's bookstore there in the in the shopping yeah. center. Never learned and to read, but I heard it was there. All right. Well, that's where I found my first astrology book, Joan Quigley's book. And then one year later, the next summer. I stumbled, I happened to glance down at the floor, and there was a skinny little pamphlet of a book lying there all by itself. It looked like a, a lost orphan. And it, says, it had something about the stock market on the cover. 
and I was interested in that. I picked that up, and, and, and I intuitively thought there must be a way, you know, given the psychology uh, factor, there must be some way to, uh -huh. maybe there's some way to link astrology with the stock market. And I picked, uh -huh. that, I picked that up, and it was Donald Bradley's stock market prediction, and, and, and I couldn't believe it. That, I didn't even know that existed. And I said, wow, <laughs> this is great. And then I turned yeah. back to the uh, inside page, first page, where they had the price marked on it, had been marked $1, struck out, marked down to $0.10. Cents. And that led to my uh, doing a, a yeah. great trade. Uh, my family was all in, the, all in the scrap business. I heard about copper prices growing up, and so I went and bought a copper mining company. And, wow. Uh, but it was $0.55 cents well, a pound. And within 18 uh, months, the copper was a dollar dollar forty. Hey, hey no, look, we were uh, leaving the show. We'll have you on in a couple weeks, and you can tell us some more stories. They love to hear them, okay? All right, thanks a lot. And thanks for the great information, folks. Norm Winsky, Astro Trends, and we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Our guest will be Jeff Hughes of Alpha Insights. <laughs>